Now let's look at how to us create variables. Creating variables. Now all these were, you know, we were just demonstrating stuff. What if you wanted to store something and retain something in Python's memory? OK, what if this 5 to the power 2, I, I, I want to call it 10,000 lines later on as well. How can I do that? I would like to store them first in a variable just like we do on pen and paper. And then we can, uh, you know, call that variable. Every time that variable is called, the value of that variable is called. OK, so for example, this is what we are talking about. X equals to 3. Wherever you type, uh, print X, right? Print X without quotation marks. Remember, if you print X like this, this is a letter X. But if you print just simple X, you can see the color is different. Black color, black color is here. So if you print this, you can see the value of X is printed. What is the value of X? X is 3. Now let me teach, let me tell you how, how to read this particular statement. Basically what is happening in this statement is whatever value is on the right hand side is being assigned to the variable name on the left hand side. OK, whatever value is on the right hand side is being assigned to the variable name on the left hand side. So three is assigned to the variable X. It's like on the left hand side we have a uh, poly bag. On the right hand side we have a fruit assignment which means single equals to symbol. What it does is it takes that fruit and keeps that in a poly bag, right? So that's called variable assignment. Never treat it like simple math equals to symbol. OK, this this statement does not mean that X is equals to three. This means X is a variable and it is storing the value of three. OK, it does not mean X is equals to three. OK, it is not a equal equality comparison. We will look at how to compare two numbers, whether they are equal or not in just a bit, but this is assignment. This is not equality. Let me type a comment here. This is assignment. And not. Equality. Three is assigned to X. Three is not equals to X. OK, if you ever appear in an interview and they ask you this basic Python question, if you talk, if you say that three is equal to X, they will just kick you out. Three is assigned to X is the better way to say it. Three is assigned to variable X. OK. And Python is case sensitive. OK, if I print. Capital X. It will give me an error because. Here small X is used. We have never used capital X for a, a variable naming. So if we use. X equals to. Uh, 3.0. Now if I use the print capital X, this is 3.0 and if I use print small x. It is 3, right? So that's a bit about variable assignment. Now there are a few rules about variable assignment. OK, there are a few rules about variable assignment. The few rules are here. OK, let me type them here. These are the few rules. X underscore 1 to 3. I'm talking about the rules to name a variable. OK, X underscore 1 to 3 is a variable name which is allowed. OK. X. Underscore 1 to 3 is allowed. 1 to 3 underscore X is not allowed. X dollar 1 to 3 is not allowed. So what am I concluding here? The only special character which is allowed is an underscore. The only special character allowed is an underscore. You can never start with a number in your variable naming. You can never use any other special character in your variable naming. These three rules have to be followed. If you create your variables which are breaking the rules, these three rules, then Python will give you an error. Let's let's look at examples. For example, one, two, three, my variable. Python has already suggested that hey, if you if your variable name is correct, the entire variable name will be in green uh, in, in black color. But as soon as you see different colors in your variable name, it means something is wrong. So let's do something. You can see invalid something. Some error has come up, which means you cannot name your variable like this. This is breaking this particular rule. OK. You cannot use this as well. X one, two, three. 
you can see already you can see two different colors apart from black color, which means again this is an error. OK, no matter if you assign it something. It will still give an error. So these three rules have to be followed. Always try to name your variables which are understandable, very understandable as far as possible. Use only text. No other other things. OK. OK, let's move on then. Let's create a few variables. And uh, let's let's look let's look at a simple example from the reservoir engineering textbook. Simple where you can use variable assignment. Everyone knows Darcy's law. Okay, because I am from the petroleum engineering domain. I can use those examples with much more confidence in the early stages. Okay, let's look at uh, what is Darcy's law. Darcy's law is something like. Uh, something which defines the flow rate as a function of pressure gradient, right? If you are, if you have a rock uh, and you have uh, provided a delta P across that rock, uh, you can uh, quantify what will be the flow rate based on the oil viscosity and the various kind of properties, right? So all the properties you can assign them in variables like this. You can see K equals to 10 milli Darcy's. Area is this, delta P is this, viscosity is this, L is this. I don't want you to, you know, be very, uh, very strict about the units and dimensions right now. That is something you can do on your own. But right now this allows me variable assign assignment allows me to set up a formula. Variable assignment. Allows you to set up. A. Formula very basic stuff. I mean, just imagine if you could not assign these things to understandable variable names. Can you write a formula? No, right? So now all I have to do is define a formula like this. This is my formula. Q equals to K A delta P by mu L very own Darcy's law. And I can print the value of. Q like this. 1000.0 the benefit here is all I can like if I have to simulate this example for some other conditions, all I have to do is replace the values now I can increase my permeability, uh, reduce the area by two. Increase my delta P multiply by viscosity by 100. Divide by length by three. And the calculation still holds true. So now we are feeling like we are solving something, right? So whenever you want to write a program, variable assignment is very, very important because these variables will be used across the entire tool. Always think as if you are trying to develop some software, some simulation software or some some, you know, uh, you know, modeling software or something. And every modeling software, if you if you look at, for example, if you look at, uh, you know, uh, open form or you, you look at Petex or wh whatever you open it. You will see that it will ask you to, you know, it, there will be boxes where they will ask you to provide some values of some variables. The names of those variables are pre coded in the background programming language. For example, Schlumberger's Petrol is written in, I think, Eclipse and Petrol, they are written, most parts of them, they were written in Fortran programming language. So, whenever you specify some variable names or some inputs, they are interpreted in the Fortran programming language with some variable names. And the entire modeling software then uses those values that are specified by you. So as soon as you are opening the tool, this first page that comes up will have something like variable assignment. And then entire calculations are done within the software itself and the final output is shown to you. So this workflow should be clear every time you are building something, make it as robust as possible as if you are developing some tool. OK, moving on. What if you wanted to, you know, you didn't want to do it like this, but 